Hey, hello there, Scorpio. Welcome, and thank you for tuning in to my weekend reading. This weekend reading is for October 5th to the 7th, but sometimes general readings, energies can meld into the other weeks. Remember, only take what resonates with you. I hope you check out the description box below, and I would really love to hear feedback on how you guys think this reading applies to you. Thank you for inspiring me. Okay, Scorpio, off camera, to save time, I have meditated over, blessed, and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the month. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. The Three of Swords is air energy, telling the painful truth. The Three of Swords, this is your hopes were higher than the results. There's sorrow and regret. There's separation and severance. And you're feeling isolated from someone or something you love. And you're feeling this pain of separation. The suffering, it comes from holding on to the past. This card sometimes indicates a love triangle or a third party situation. Maybe a need to tell the hurtful truth with kindness. It is a difficult loss. There's a sacrifice. It's something you can fix. This release will make room for growth and maturity. This pain is a strong motivator to change. And when you fix it, you grow. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. Number one of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the magician. Number one, the magician. This is a masculine card. This is using your will and your creative power and your personal power. So you're, it's a reminder to remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen in your life. You're embarking on a new way of life. This may be a flash of inspiration. This person draws power from above to materialize his desires. The cosmic lemon skate, that sideways figure eight that's above his head, is a symbol of eternal life and domination. It's harmonious interaction of the conscious and the subconscious, idea, feeling, and desire, and emotion. It's using your heart, and emotion is the key to the secret. This is the as above, as below card, and as within, so without. Using your focus, vision, and decision, and your action, you can create and make a new beginning. So work to achieve your goal and take on new challenges. Your third card, this is how it affects you. The Page of Pentacles, this is Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The Page of Pentacles. Pages always indicate new energy. This is introspection. This person's attitude suggests he desires money. He's goal-oriented. Could be bringing you good news about money or your worldly ambition. This person has respect for learning. They're fascinated. They're absorbed. They move slowly, they're patient and curious and eager to learn. Sometimes this is a child. It could be a new job or a new investment. But it is an unexpected starting point, like a new business or a new health routine. This, if they're a person, they seem like they're solemn and scholarly, and they're willing to work hard to learn about what interests them so very much. This is a good card to start new businesses but it's like starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for growth for the future. Your fourth card, this is the future. It's the outcome. It's the results or the advice. Number zero of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the fool, a new beginning, a leap of faith, the zero, the fool, this is a choice. It's a blind leap of faith. 
This is trusting life and an important new beginning. And if you follow your instincts, you'll be provided with guidance. This is moving, a new job, or marriage, or a divorce. It's a first step despite fears. This is the first of the major arcana of the 22 cards that show hidden meanings. And this person turns his attention towards the spirit. This is an unexpected influence is coming. It's like a sudden, unlooked-for opportunity, or the possibility of adventure or escape. This may be the need to abandon something old and start something new and untested. The fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's what's unseen. It's the underlying issue. The Eight of Pentacles, more Earth energy. The Eight of Pentacles, Scorpio. Craftsmanship and dedication. This is applying your skills in a productive and conscientious manner. And as long as you're sincere and persevere, your efforts will succeed. This is devoting yourself, maybe to making money. But you're paying attention to details. Could be employment to come, and that would be in the early stages. Someone learning a skill. It's the beginning of a profitable undertaking. It's a symbol of striving for self-perfection. It's being meticulous and steadfast. You're being precise and industrious. You may be taking classes or doing homework or, or doing something repetitive, improving yourself, repairing something. There is satisfaction and things evolving nicely. You know about achieving what you want, and your sureness of purpose guarantees success. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Please leave me comments. It helps me tune your energy into the readings. I hope your month is full of wonderful adventures. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm trying to keep it positive. Love and light. Peace. Thank you, guys.